Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix HyperX Cloud Alpha S mic. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you are having trouble using the microphone on your HyperX Cloud Alpha S, I'm going to give you a lot of common issues and some troubleshooting steps to fix this. So first, check the actual physical connections. Ensure that the cable that plugs the microphone into your PC is securely plugged into both the headset and your computer. Give it a wiggle and if needed, try using a different USB port. Oftentimes, it helps re-plugging it in securely all the way. Next, make sure that the microphone is properly attached, fully extended, and of course not muted. So if you see a physical mute button, try toggling it off and on again. Next, you will be able to go over to the HyperX website and get the Ingenuity software. The Ingenuity software helps you set up any HyperX peripheral and also you will be able to update the drivers to the latest version. So in here, download HyperX Ingenuity. As soon as you open up the software, you should be able to see your HyperX Cloud Alpha S and the firmware and drivers will be automatically updated. Alternatively, you can also go over to the device manager, so right-click the Windows icon, choose device manager, and in here you will see every single peripheral connected to your PC. You should be able to find it here under the sound or audio input categories. And if you don't see anything related to HyperX, it could mean that the HyperX Cloud Alpha S is not being detected. This could be a problem attributed to the cable, so the best way to rule this out would be to connect it to a different device. If the HyperX Cloud Alpha S gets detected on another, another device besides the PC that you are using now, it could indicate a problem with the PC, either the port or something else that is failing to acquire the drivers needed to use the peripheral. Besides this, there's not much that you can do. I recommend going over to the control panel, going over to the sound tab, and in here you will be able to see the playback and recording devices. If you cannot find the HyperX peripheral here, you can try right clicking anywhere, show disabled devices, show disconnected devices, and then browse through all of them. Once you find anything related to HyperX, make sure that it is enabled and set as the default device. As long as it is set to the device, the default device, you will be able to use it inside of games, applications, and so on. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix HyperX Cloud Alpha S mic. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.